Okay, guys, we're here with a D&D &D deck. I think it's called D&D &D or like Into the Forgotten Realms or something like that. That is the deck that we're playing today. We are playing new card Demulich. Basically, if you cast four instant sorceries in the turn, Demulich is free. If not, you know, for each instant sorcery you do cast, it costs one blue less. And when it attacks, it flashes back a instant sorcery for free out of the art. And you know what's really good with playing a bunch of instant sorceries? Good old Arc Light Phoenix. So... While we don't have Faithless Losing, uh, Faithless Looting, we do have Faithless Salvaging and Dragon Rage Channeler allowing us to filter our draws heavily to get the Arc Light Phoenixes in the yard, able to both get Arc Light Phoenix back, as well as play free Demi Liches, and have a big Dragon Rage Channeler. So, this deck is Turbo Blue Red Xerox, and you know, hopefully we can Xerox our way into some wins. On the board, it looks really weird that I have Chalice of the Void in my 23 one drop deck. But in modern currently, Chalice of Void is not necessarily only for one drops, as you want to cast it for zero a lot versus the Cascade decks, whether they're playing Cascading into Living End, Cascading into uh, Crashing Footfalls, or Clashing, or Cascading into Glimpse of Tomorrow. All cards that Chalice of the Void beats. And, you know, in weird situations, maybe you cast it for one against certain decks, although incredibly unlikely. But we've got that Crackling Drake if we want to go longer. Cautious Turn versus cards like Sanctifier and Vec, or your Champion. Alpine Moon for Urza Saga, Lightning Axe as another rule spell that discards our Phoenix. Shattering Spree for Hammer Time, Affinity, Urza's Kitchen, and Flusterstorm for some more Cascade and Control Hate. So let's get into it. Hmm. Well, it's actually taking a little bit to get our mesh. But, you know, he broke down the decks, so that's something for us. Hopefully our mesh can, you know... It's something good going. Mm hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Are you able to write off your MTG cost as a business expense? Yes, I am. Well, depending on what it is. Like, I can't write off a league, I don't think. But I have written off, you know, like, travel all travel expenses I can write off. I talked to, like, a, a CPA about this. I can write off all travel expenses all uh, like big tournament entries in which I'm like directly um, using the the money from so I could like write off uh, challenges I believe although it's like kind of weird I'm not exactly sure how to write them off because it's like play points but I believe I can write them off to an extent I couldn't you write off a league it's like weird because I'm not using actual currency to buy into any of them like, I haven't used actual currency in a very long time. Like, if anything, like, I can write off, like, I forgot to, actually, but I could have written off, um, I could have written off this from last year, the $75 I paid to get into the Eternal Weekend stuff. 102030. No lands, no go. Some lands will go. We only see hands. <laughs> I decided to. I, I shaved yesterday and decided to keep this mustache, and I thought it looked really, really bad. Probably should have just fetched an island. Um, I do want Dragon Rage Channeler. It's all top top. YouTube voice when he's doing the YouTube intros. <laughs> We're playing against Living End. That is annoying. Or at least I assume it's Living End. One of my least favorite decks in all of modern. I don't know how many times I've said it. Looks like living in to me. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, face looting is just an incredibly good magic card.
Okay. I think I'm just supposed to play this play land pass. Don't need that thing. Architects will. Okay. Opponent is the last one they're lagging. Are you lagging? I bet like one of my metamorphoses will be countered. Force negation, and I'll just like lose. Grief, getting griefed. Hmm. Probably lose a metamorpho, so I'd have to imagine here. Hmm. Okay. That's not great, but acceptable. Don't really want to draw the stream riddles anymore. Let's start with this. If we get very lucky, we can win here this turn. Uh, not much to be done there. Guess I'm supposed to top that probably. Choice is on point. Let me tell you about my YouTube auto-generated um playlist. again. I'm going to get force negation again. Put that into the yard. Easy. Pretty sure I put literally anything into the yard. Phoenix. I'm actually fine darting here, I think, because if I hit a Phoenix, it's really, really good for me. Did not hit a Phoenix, unfortunately. Let's play Dummy Lich. Okay. Well, punished. I guess a little bit here. Well, another lightning bolt just kills our opponent. Oh no, it doesn't. Oh my god. That was the only creature. I guess it's pretty bad. Another lightning bolt does not kill our opponent. Demulich a bomb. Demulich is good. I have to imagine they have, you know, Cascade here. No, I'm just dead. No. Hmm. 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 Telling me I'm dead? You're telling me I'm dead? Who would have thought? Let's bring in that. Let's bring in Flusterstorm. Hmm. Uh. 
go some charter course, I guess. Hmm. Hmm. Is mediocre in this deck. I would probably agree. I would probably agree. But we need ways to get stuff into the yard. We'll keep this. Top of those. This that they it sucks obviously if they have like ingot chewer, but I wanna play around grief slash um play around grief plus uh like um force negation as much as possible. Although I guess I should have just done Chalice first then if I wanted to play around those cards, right? So a little bit of mistake on my part. I guess I'll Faithless Salvaging, discarding Charter Course, and then discard Flusterstorm maybe, try and go off next turn if we can find stuff. I guess we don't want to discard a fluster storm then. Hmm. I guess the phase of salvaging is actually kind of bad here, isn't it? I'll ditch the thought scour, I guess. That's not good. I'm just gonna get force negationed. Hmm. Got Demulich, let's see if they have subtlety. All four street race, eh? Perfectly against me. <laughs> Maybe. I mean, I'm not a fan of playing against my opponent's deck. I really just have grief plus. No, uh, uh, you got me, opponent. You got me. If you got it, you got it. Not much I can do against Street Race, Street Race, Street Race, Street Wraith. Oh, okay, we're not dead. Feels good, man. Not dead. Not dead yet. Just some bad draws. I think I'm going to chart a course here. Gives me the most amount of draws. Oh, I actually have to pay for the card. Huh. Didn't know that. I'll cast face of salvaging, trying to hit like some goods. And discard these extra lands that I don't need. Shocked. Wow. That's crazy. Okay, I see. Let's do this. Ditch this. 
believe they're dead now. At least very close to it. Wow, okay, that's a lot of lands. Hmm. Let's start with this. Start them. See what we find. Bottom. The any burn spell. cast this again so not that bad hmm. do this and then uh, I guess I should have played mountain there actually that would have been slightly better I'm not sure if I actually had something to fetch. <laughs> Somehow we won that game. I'm very surprised. Well, hopefully we can do uh, do it again. Cycled a lot, but never found the way to do it. Hmm. 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 When you bring in K return, um, against the pro red creatures like Sanctifier and Vec, decks that go wide, or our champion, etc. I'll keep this hand. It's definitely on the not so great side. F6. Thank God I didn't. Hmm. Hmm. Um. Wow, they don't have the land. Okay, that's really good for me. Guess I will just attack here, Faithless Salvaging, and then go off like next turn. They don't hit a land here. Game's essentially over. Looks like they didn't hit a land. Okay, yeah, they're gonna be getting hit pretty hard this turn. hit pretty hard. Move that into the yard as well. Back to them. Blue, red. Play this. Serum visions. I will top that. Up, I guess. Bolt. Oh, actually, I should have just bottomed that actually, because I didn't realize I needed to bolt here. And then do this, and they should be dead next turn. 
<laughs> Should be good to go now. Okay, there you go. Got him. Got him. Hmm. There's a lot of game actions. You are hearing me on Genesis music. Yes. Keep this in, and we're on the draw. We can hit a land. It's possible. <laughs> well, we're losing our Dragon Race channel, which is the problem. That's fine, I'll bolt that. Hmm. That is unfortunate. That is unfortunate. Need to find some blue mana here. again. This is like the old spike deck list. You're like I can just ditch this. That's actually not that bad for me. No blue mana. Where is blue mana? I think I actually want to get rid of this. Hmm. All right, go. Just to thought scour it into like a dark or something. Didn't bring letters back to the hand. I think I'm supposed to do this still. Doesn't quite work out for me, I believe. Yeah, because I don't have enough 
Blue Man Eyes. I guess they have K-Command then here. Which is pretty bad for me, because they make me discard, get back croaks, they make me discard again. They're a pretty rough spot. Oh, they can return Dragon Dish Channel. Okay, never mind. Hmm. Ragman for a weird number of times. I'll play that card. Oh, I gave it fear. Okay, I see. Dark Hall felt well. Oh, there's an easy card to ditch. Really sucks that I have to do this, but I think I have to. I need to find, like, Manamorphos or something here. Manamorphos allows me to cast the Demi Lich. Yeah, I guess I'll do this. Okay. Next turn I can cast Demi Lich. I like want my opponent to keep like whiffing on lands, but it's also like kind of rough for me too. Another spots. Because they're continuing to draw spells. Well, there's croaks are gonna come, probably gonna lose to that. At this point, unfortunately. Yeah, I mean, it's, like, pretty free to play, I think. Supposed to sack this. Yeah, I can do this. Should be fine. Oh, wait, that's a 1 1. I should have kept that on top, actually. I should have kept that on top. Cause I only have, yeah, that was really dumb of me. A super, super bad play by me. Super, super bad play. I miscounted everything because like if I would have left it on top, I could have gotten Arc like, Arc Light Phoenix back. I, this game's over. I don't think I can actually beat this card. It's Croaks at this point. Hmm. I don't think I actually want to sideboard anything. I guess I want Crackling Drake. Probably cut like a good shot. Since it went, yeah. Song. 
song's so good. Sand's no good. I'll keep the sand and not feel good about it. Hope that my Dragon Rage Channel survives. Or I draw a blue land. Dream is they play Dragon Race Channel in here. Ugh. Unbanned Aurora, ironically. Uh, I don't know about that. I think I'd be fine with either banning like Bobble or Luris. See where things go from there. Preferably litter is, because I really just hate companions. I think they're just, like, awful. Yeah, let's go for it. Easy game. Easy game. Yeah, I should bottom both of these. Oh, they don't have another land. All right. Think I'm not supposed to do anything quite yet. Maybe try something next turn. If you hit Demi Lich or Arc Light Phoenix, obviously it's like nuts. Let's try and go for it now. One, two, three. It'll be four, right? Yep. So I can put that into the yard. Guess I could keep the bolt. Yeah, I think I want to keep the bolt here. Then I can flash it back. Dummy Lich. Next turn. You'll hate yourself in the end. Thank God I made the realization that this is a 3 3 and I attacked it first this time. Discard Croak hand size. <laughs> I wanted to do that pre-combat, so that even though we're discarding a card, we get a flashback and then draw two. That's like still fine. Okay, well, they didn't draw second land, so that's good for me. I'll keep this hand. Got a couple different things I like about it. <laughs> took a lava dart. Wow. That's crazy that they took a lava dart there to me. Dearcy? I thought it was like straight cap that fucking Spiring Spike said DRC was the best card out of Modern Horizons 2. But it is definitely top three at the very least. That's a problem. That is a problem. I have to get rid of this, unfortunately. Oh, yeah, yeah. Could 
gone for a different line. No, I couldn't have, realistically. I needed, like, one more, one more mana there. I could have gone for a much cooler line. Hmm. Good saga. Let's learn. I'll draw back. I mean, the drawback is that your deck is most likely going to be pretty bad versus, like, rest in peace. Take there, chart course. That is problematic for me. Them, I probably wouldn't even attack with this. Well, actually, no, attack with this is fine, actually. It probably doesn't matter either way. Yuck. Okay. Guess they're getting my fire eyelet. I'm back. Oh, Spike, thank you for the sub. I appreciate it. Oh, did you just raid me? That makes sense for the sub then. <laughs> for all the follows, I appreciate them. Oh, I think I have to do this, unfortunately. This Douthy Voidwalker got me really good this game. Pretty sure this gets exiled, but, you know, we'll see. I mean, I have no idea what the price will be. I'm no magic pricing guru anymore. Peaky 2000, thanks for the fall. That's good for me. Hmm. Birthday, dude. I'm happy to be here on your special day. It is not my birthday. It is not my birthday. I swear. It's not my birthday. These are just the people trying to punk me, you know? How does this work? Okay, yeah. Hmm. Everyone always says every single time it's my birthday. Do the birthday command. I don't. They they're obsessed with it. Just nothing. So they have a land on top. Is what they're saying. I think at least. But they had a, it's so so weird. A little bit confused by their choice there. <laughs> I 
I do appreciate the raid spike. Thank you very much. Boosting my numbers, you know, artificially. Always good to see. Gives me that, like, uh, you know, gives me that brain, brain feel-good juice. <laughs> so they're playing towards the Croxa, it seems. Skipper's Day is definitely a birthday. <laughs> My birthday is actually in five days. Like, no joke, actually in five days. I'm gonna bolt it. Sure. <sighs> that hurts so much. That hurts so much. I think I am just dead here. I don't really see a way out of it. I guess I could have. No. Yeah, it wasn't gonna happen. I don't think. Think I should have just bit the bullet and killed that Dalthy boy to walk away early. Mm So, yeah. hmm. Oh, post board gaming. Thank you for the tier one. I appreciate it. I guess with all the new people here, I should probably tell you guys what I do. I basically only stream modern here because, you know, that's what gets the views. I do play a bunch of other stuff sometimes. I've been. I have been slacking on, you know, keeping up with my other formats like Legacy Vintage that I play a lot of, or that I used to play a lot of. I need to play some more of that. And then, um. Yeah, I post to YouTube every single day, which I know Spike does now as well, um, as well as some other YouTubers, but yeah. People, uh, people just started posting to YouTube every single day. Took my, took my edge on their YouTube game. I talk too much about how good, how good YouTube is, SMH my head. <laughs> but yeah, subscribe to my YouTube, this SMH point YouTube, subscribe to my Twitter, you know, I space point Twitter, give me my socials and everything, you know, to be bigger. And then eventually I can, you know, scam money out of, uh, like companies to give me money and free things. Unfortunately, I'm like not an arena streamer who's got like the super ins with, uh, all those like people like ultimate guard or whatever. And like wizards that just send them infinite free stuff. Like, I wish I could just get sent like infinite free stuff. And just get, like, thousands of dollars worth of free things to, like, basically just, like, a sponsored tweet with someone. Doomwake. He's gotta see me on this deck. That was good in the <laughs> That was my title yesterday. That was a great title. People, people have no creati creativity these days in these, in these Twitch titles. No one has any creativity these days in, in the magic category for uh, stream titles except for me, I feel like. like my title is hmm, pristine. Pristine title. I have... My title today is pristine. OMG, Yama is so fat, so fat, and so ugly, and so bad at magic. How does he even get up in the morning? Like, what a great title. Amazing title. Literally doesn't get better than that. <laughs> it doesn't get better than that. Am I right, guys? Hmm. This is a new hotness. <laughs> like, what is Doomwake's title? Doomwake's title, he's streaming right now, I have to imagine. His is Modern Chef Urza. And then a bunch of exclamation points. Like, come on. Some creative. I want some creativity. Give me some creativity. Please. Oh, I will lightning bolt that. Actually, is there a reason to lightning bolt it? I think I just want to play this actually instead. It obviously sucks they have double cookbook here, but you know they have to have double cookbook plus um, 
guy. Not bone shards. Okay. Not a bad hand by them. <laughs> Perfect draw. Let's just deal with this. Whenever I play my like opponent's deck, I like never have these hands. Cries will think digital card word tune now. <laughs> <laughs> Just main phasing so they could string the sure. That's like unbeatable, unfortunately. Hmm. Yeah, the game's over. The game's over. Already, Shadow Spear on that was just good enough. Hmm. Let's bring in some Shattering Sprees, take out like a Charter Chorus. See, so, yeah, I'd rather take out Gut Shots, I think, here. <laughs> okay, that is a bit much. That's a bit much. <laughs> Let's see. Sand seems reasonable to me. XCC has pretty good titles, I'm not gonna lie. XCC does got the good titles. <laughs> Am I getting turn one as mode again? Just literally the exact same start that they had last game. Classic. Sucks. Hmm. Okay, two lands out of the way, and then draw another land. <laughs> it's kind of oof. Four lands in a row. Okay. Guess I have to find something eventually, right? not been particularly good uh, draws. Not particularly good draws. Hmm. Okay, now I got a Shattering Spree this, at least. Both of these. Do they have it? Do they have the goods? Is the real question. Okay, sure. Discard a land, make a food, okay. So, best turn. Hopefully we can find a Phoenix or a Demi Lich. I have to go here. Oh. Let's do it. I mean, everything's going into the yard, so. Found nothing instead. Perfect. 
found nothing instead. They found a little chase daredevil off the top. These people and their little chase daredevils off the top hurting. Salvaging, let's see what we can hit. Hmm. Arc Light Phoenix, please. I'll put that on top, actually. I would be fine drawing that. Ditch that. Put that into the graveyard. Put this into the graveyard. Chinese Spree's not the worst. Start with this. I will top. Think I'm fine doing this. Just making them crack the foods as well. They're probably going to crack the foods anyways. I think it's fine to do this. Oh, I forgot they can just do that. <laughs> Wait, it didn't kill the... What? Guess I misclicked, unfortunately. Thought I clicked to kill that food. Every time I misclick and do something like that, even though it doesn't really matter all that much, it still makes me upset. It makes me like want to just concede the game on the spot. <laughs> okay, let's uh, find a way to kill this, hopefully. You find a phoenix? Oh, there's a phoenix and a demi lich. Not bad. Okay, I gotta continue to play the game. I wanted to tilt concede. I wanted to. I sure did want to. Okay, well we get to, er, I mean we get to Shattering Spree down a lot of this, so that's fine. Let's see what they get. Mm, off there is a Street Wraith. That's annoying, very beatable. Interesting. Oh, I can see it. Didn't. Oh, they saw the line of me just bolting them, dark darting them, and then, uh, you know, hitting with arc light. That was an interesting decision by them to go for the Urza instead of cracking a food. So that's good for me, I guess. <laughs> Let's see what we can do this time. Oh. 
Oh. That is reasonable enough for me. Reasonable enough for me. Doom Lake does not know how to mulligan. Please tell him to mulligan more. more on turn one. Who would have thought? Let's scar ourselves. Don't think I want a shattering spree just to cookbook here. And I think I'm fine like going for the double thought scar myself here. God has the oval chase plus the Asmore so many times. It's even worse than I thought, because I thought at least I could cast the demi to make them use the cookbook, but no. I think the game's just over at this point. Didn't have any way to deal with the Asmore. I, mean, I could have darted, but then it's like, I lose the land, and they still just get to kill my guy, so it doesn't really matter. The deck feels so far very clunky. Very, very clunky. Surprisingly. the card lightning bolt does it exist yeah, I just have way too many lights in my hand anyways just didn't do anything and I can't do anything because the Asmore makes it so my uh, creatures do nothing unfortunately I did nothing that game they have turn one as more every single game? I wonder. No, they didn't have it on game two, did they? They did have like in two of the games they lost they had the like Asmore plus Asmore plus Cookbook plus Urza Saga plus Dire Fleet Daredevil or whatever the Daredevil is. So they had the incredibly functional hands on seven, whereas my hands were I mean, I'm not sure if even this deck is functional at the least. Oval team, oval chase, daredevil. It's not 
playable. I just can't imagine it playable without Faith of Swimming. Faith of Salvaging is not, like... From what I'm understanding from this deck so far, Faith of Salvaging is no Faith of Swimming. And it, it is not close, either. <laughs> Pretty valuable though. I mean, the thing is, is it is not fatal suiting, and it's like over two turns and costs one more mana. I'll keep this hand. I understand that it's for the rebound turn, but then like you're just like a turn slower doing whatever you're wanting to do. Hmm. I do not think it is just that easy to unban looting. Definitely have to face a suiting here, or face a salvaging. Turn through Phoenix is a lot more easy. The the problem with all of this, I think, is also is that DRC is like it's like good but bad in the deck at the same time because it's basically not going to be a three three nearly ever. And I think that's a big problem. It's not really the flashback. What do you mean? It literally is the flashback. I think if it didn't have flashback, it would not have gotten banned. I'm just playing in Storm. Alright. You got something going here. You got something going here. We're doing it. Try and find Demi Lich if possible here. I should have seen Bruce and Spurs, that was a mistake. I guess I'll play this now. Oh, I almost just F6 because thinking that they had to automatically tag. Um, I gotta go use the bathroom, so I'm gonna F6 for their turn and then go use the bathroom and be right back.
Okay, we're back. Okay, yeah, I'm done. Cluster Storm. Lightning Axe seems good here. Gut Shot seems pretty bad. high chance of it being storm so I just went like okay if they're storming off they'll kill me or whatever I keep and ditch like this. I don't know. His hands are brutal. supposed to do that. Alright, hey, okay. got rewarded. It feels good, man. <laughs> Easy get rid of Demulich, and then final land next turn, then we get a Manamorphos, and Demulich comes back. This also works. So we can hit a land this time. Land drop me. There we go. I'm just gonna die to like guess I'm given here, but hopefully I don't. Hopefully I don't. I don't think I can afford to leave up Fluster Storm here with how much I did last turn. Or this turn, I mean. Okay, I was like gonna snap concede real quick. Getting dismembered. Oh, that's not okay. I'm going to play the one in the yard, because then we lose a lot of shit out of my yard. Then again, I guess I have enough stuff that it doesn't really matter. I didn't really check what the Thought Scour got, to be honest, so that was probably probably better to play the one from the yard. 
seeing as we have Charter Course on top, but I think it matters that much because I have a two-turn clock anyways. And I'm going to just Dragon Race Channel to the Charter Course, play land, then have Double Fluster if we get to the next turn, that is. I guess I don't even need to cast the Charter Chorus. I have to, I have to actually cast it. I forgot I actually have to cast it. This card is like so much worse than I thought it was. They have another land, obviously we lose, but hopefully they don't. Most likely we get a win with Flusterstorm. Whatever they're gonna cast. Okay. Oh, they just have nothing. Okay. I'm very confused about their plays. Very, very confused. That did not make any sense to me at all. Not sure why they played everything out there, but you know, teach their own. <laughs> um, I'll keep the sound. <laughs> Appreciate him. Always appreciate the follows. It's not scar myself. I think Demi Lich is probably bad. The more that I come to play with it, I don't think it's quite good enough to build your deck around. Guess I don't need Fiery Islet. Fetch for a basic island here. Okay, never mind. No basic island. How do you build it? <laughs> Let's go back. 
back to Arclight Phoenix to have at least some semblance of a clock here. Why? You just have to put a lot of effort into it and it is easily beatable by most of the removal spells in the format. And doing nothing for a majority of your turns to just play a 4-3 later on is kind of bad. Be bad because of remand. Uh, actually, left in remand. Okay. Probably should have seen that coming. Probably should have seen that one coming. Guess I'll go top top. Shoot here, dart them, bring back the Phoenix, continue up clock. Have Fluster Storm up. Alright, maybe we gotta do something here. I can do this. Probably discard the dart. Did I play my land already? I mean, I should be playing my land. Maybe because if I don't hit a blue land, it's so bad for me not to leave up Fluster Storms. And if they get some given here, I'll just Fluster Storm it. So bad here. I agree. I completely agree. That's not good. They're shocking there. Oh, this is scary. This is very scary. Shot for four. Hmm. Well, we can get back our Phoenix still. We draw a bolt. That's a good draw. Ditch this. That's not good. <laughs> Should have been an Orphos chart. No. Well, sometimes you just have no more uh, lands to get. <laughs> and you have 33 cards in your deck. Hmm. Well, they can't 
can't use a shock lamp anymore, so we've got that going for us, I guess. Sphere visions, okay. They can't use both of these for colored mana as well, which is nice. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Opponent said GG's. I'll give him GG's back. Somehow one. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take what I can get. What is good about this deck is if you can get the Phoenix into the yard, it's pretty easy to bring it back. I've got that going for me. <laughs> All that you've been your top five or so. You're talking about Tome Scour? I don't think you want to play Tome Scour in this deck. Maximize the losses he has. Uh, I would agree. Uh, maybe. Mm. Yeah, I mean, you probably should. I just think that this this deck idea, like, I usually if I see this type of deck, I'm just like, and I play like, okay, like maybe it's a tiny bit clunky, and there's some ways to like make it better. I I can't. I can't really imagine a way in which to make this deck better and like good. I just don't, I can't think of like any cards that, that could fit in here to really fix the problems that this deck has. Thank God I left that on top. What does this have issues with? The deck, I think, is structurally flawed. That is the problem I think there is. Like, everything you're doing in this deck is not powerful enough to, to um, make it worth like doing the things that you're doing. Like, I think all the work that you're doing, like, doesn't actually make up for, like, stuff you have to deal with. Also, like, if anyone plays, like, a Douthy Voidwalk and you don't have an answer, your deck is, like, close to non-functional, so that doesn't help either. And that is a very popular card. Lightning Bolt. Okay, that's fine. I assume they're gonna play... Yeah, that makes sense. Which is interesting. I'm going to start with just one thought scar to see what we draw and move from there. I think I'm supposed to do this and ditch the demi lich. And then try and go off like next turn, maybe. If we can draw something. Like a dart in the yard, maybe. Maybe I'm just supposed to play Dragon Rage Channeler there and pass. I can see that being the case as well. 
is a problem. I need to draw like the exile with my thing. Oh they cut man more for okay, okay. I should have drawn that. So just play up with these. And then pass the turn. I think if I would have played out the other Ragavent or the, the Dragon Rage channel last turn, it would have just been better for me than doing the chart. That's a problem. That is a problem. Okay, well, let's see what we can do this turn. That's a really bad start. I need a thought scar done so I can actually set up my draw. Okay, there's three lands on top of my deck. Uh, so close to doing something, not quite. If they want to cast this, just whatever. Let's see, what do we have to exile? Theoretically, we have lethal if they do absolutely nothing. If they do nothing of relevance, then we have lethal. Hard to believe they have nothing of relevance to do. Hmm. 
spoiler is, sure. That doesn't actually matter, basically at all. This is very beatable. I assume they get. Oh, wow. Okay. Just need to find one rule spell. We have Serum Visions plus this to find out. Seems pretty likely. Seems pretty likely for us. Okay, then. Um, I guess I should top this. Because I can cast it and then, um, like, look pretty deep. Alright, top. That is good enough. That was super greedy by them, I feel like. Do this. Doesn't matter what I do with these. Now I cast Lightning Bolt on here. Oh, I even have an Arc Light Phoenix, I didn't even notice. That was like so greedy by them to not like cast Demi Lich off of one of these, I feel like. That's so greedy when I top a card from last turn. It's super, super greedy. Super, super greedy. Is that what you want to do? And I will not be happy about it. Don't be mad because I'm doing me better than you do with you. Well, I will kill that on turn one. I was out of here. Now I'm ready for them to play Dalthy Voidwalker and for me to be sad. Maybe there's a land. Don't really care what I do because I'm just gonna fetch this away. gonna shave it after the stream I wanted to keep it at least for one stream you know bring back the stash for a day I'm not the biggest fan of it though I think I'm just supposed to let it go we had a creature obviously it would have been insane but it would have been very unlikely for us to do creature yeah that's the punish that's the big punish. That is the big punish. <sighs> hmm. 
probably should have played it out, but I was a little bit, little bit, little bit sad about the humongous punish. Hmm. I'll keep those hands. Not the best, not the worst. <laughs> hmm. I'm only in six. I guess I'll see your visions. Ditch that, I'll top that. Threatening the instant in your yard. It was the only instant. I had exactly four cards in my yard and they were all four different types. The thing is, I could have just, like, you know, tried to set up my draw, kill the ragman. That's good for me. I'm supposed to scour because if I hit double phoenix, then obviously I want them back, but I'm use the Delthy Void Walker. Let's do this. There's a lightning bolt. That's really good for me. Animorphos here would be great. That shot works. Got it, another just immense. Play Demi Lich. Pass turn. Good fiddler, I'm just rather rule. No, 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 no. I mean, if I could have gotten Delirium, I would have gone for it, but I don't think I could have. So that's good for me. Croxo is actually good for me. Gonna put Phoenix to my yard. Draw anything else to go with the Serum Visions and we get our Phoenix back. F6. That's what I'm looking for. Demilich Modern Playable? Probably not, unfortunately. to get the extra phoenix, bolt them, and then I will just, and if we get these off, then they're just dead to the dirt. Went three and two, not the worst. I'm going to have the best treasure chest I've ever opened in my entire life right here. It is only fitting, it is only fitting I open Arclight Phoenix. That seems only fitting. Well, Watching this on YouTube and you like the video, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Twitch and Twitter in the description below, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye bye.